Alright boys, what's going on? Mach 12 video today. I'm doing a voiceover style. <laughs> uh, a little awkward, but... This uh, member of chaos took me a lot of... A long time to clear. Um, kinda had to brute force my way through it a lot. And that's probably why. But it's very DOT focused. Uh, first half is Dr. Ratio, Pela, Ranmei, Fushuan as you can see. And then second half is... Um, I already forgot. Uh, King Chui, Sparkle, Silver Wolf, and Jepard. So yeah. Um, so on, on this first phase, sometimes I target the Trotter, uh, sometimes I don't. It pretty much has the same outcome, um, as far as the same amount of cycles for this first phase of the first part. <clears throat> And if at any point in the video, if you have any tips or anything, or if you see any misplays, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'm always open to suggestions. Um, trying to play better. A lot of my builds are scuffed, but we'll we'll go over that at the end of the video. I would say what I'm doing here, but honestly, I don't really know. But regardless, it, regardless if I like um, target the Trotter every wave around or not, um, it pretty much ends up being twenty or er, ending on the twenty eighth cycle. This first phase. So that's what I do. <sighs> I guess I'll tell you a tale while we wait for me to clear this part. Um, I'm using King Choi in the second part or second half. I was trying to use my Zilla. Um, I was getting so frustrated. I got her to over 90, 90? 92 crit rate and my Zilla was still missing so then I got mad and so you'll see my builds My King Choi is kind of optimized for just crit rate because I'm using it with Sparkle So I was like, you know what? Fuck a ratio. I'll just let Sparkle fix my crit damage for me and uh Yeah, so So once the swords come up I Targeting the Trotter for the DOT. I don't really know if this is the best way to do it, but like with this team, a little single target. Also, I don't have all the weaknesses for the swords. It's kind of annoying getting rid of the swords. Um, I could brute force it like I am with Dr. Risha's skill, but um, I found that in my many, 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 many replays that targeting the swords through DOT is kind of worth it. And I could be using Dr. Ratio to kill him now, like, because they're so low, but... Um... Kind of trying to get that damage onto Yanching anyway. So all the spikes should be gone on, like, on their next turn. Unless the DOT suddenly disappears, but... I'm pretty sure they... yeah, they die. There's only one more. I heard to mention, I'm pretty sure this split is four cycles on first half and then si or six cycles on the second half. I usually prefer to upload one half at a time, but um, because one side is slower than the other, I, which I think is fine because. I think when you're uploading, um, like when you when you show like halves specifically uh, isolated, five cycles is the goal. But when you show the context of the other half, as long as it's under ten cycles total, I think it's fine as well. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope that's I hope that's all right. This made me realize. Uh, it's made me realize how much more variety I need. Oh, 
I know I'm a little late to mentioning this, but I, I, I Dr. Risha ulted before I Pale ulted. Um, I could defend Shred first, but it seemed to have the same outcome as far as, like, cycles, so... I used Pale's ult to proc Dr. Risha's follow-up instead of defense shredding first. Um, don't really know if that's a good idea or not, but... <laughs> Anyways, on to second half. Um, my Sparkle speed tuning is absolutely messed up. So you notice, I really don't get any extra, like, actions at all. <laughs> um, which is, if, if my sparkle was, uh, if I had slow sparkle or hyper speed, I have neither right now, um, potentially shave off a cycle here. Cause yeah, we're not getting any extra, um, actions from here. We're really just getting the crit damage. I have my sparkle fixed, not fixed, but she's she's tuned for King Choi um, now, so that'll be in uh, Mach 11. I want to upload that. This TV is super annoying. I I like didn't know if I should target him or not. He's kind of tanky for being just a, a little guy. But um, when he gives energy, I'm pretty sure who he targets depends on the taunt level of the character because he always gives it to Jepard, so he's kind of useless. I mean, like, Jepard's shield is nice, but not as nice as other things, I suppose. Pretty much like, like, insulting with Jepard because I'm always on my toes. I don't, I don't remember, like, if there's any CCs, and I don't remember, like, where the CCs are. So, I don't want to get stunned and not be able to have my shield up. But then this shit happens, too, where you, like, the other stupid HP drain thing. So I was a little late. I was, I've been trying to, like, kill her before she does that, but... Unsuccessful. So, everything about this matter of chaos has been super scuffed. Um, I need to build DOT. I don't... Yeah. I also just need better builds, like... <laughs> like, this is literally the only word I can come up with, like, it's just scuffed. We managed to kill this guy on 24 cycles, so that's kinda cool. Um, it was close. Boys, I don't know if I should pull Akron or not. If I pull Akron, I'm probably gonna pull for Light Code. Eslip should probably pull for Jing Liu. I don't know if there's much to say for this half, I mean, I kind of just brute force my way through, but like, dude, Sam has so much HP, like, he's so tough. And for his whole, like, HP drain on the skill points, uh, you'll notice I just full ignore it. Because, uh, you can't get killed by it, so, hey, as long as it shields up, be fine, except for a Silver Wolf doesn't have a shield. Actually, our, our, all our shields are down right now, but don't worry about that. It's probably just me contemplating life there. As far as using skill points to drain Sam's like special state thing, it's kind of bad because. Um, you have to attack him with the skill point, and I have two characters that, that don't do that. If only it was just using skill points and not attacking him, but then it would be too broken. You could just do that in like two turns with uh, QQ. Speaking of skill points, holy shit. <laughs> And here it starts. 
At this point, I'm just like full committed. I'm praying in Japard we trust. This guy on the left is like super annoying, but I feel like it's sort of super important to just target Sam instead. Yeah, he pisses me right the fuck off. <laughs> even though like this whole even though this whole like buff thing for this cycle member chaos um it's kind of annoying like with the whole dot because i don't have a dot i think it's still pretty pretty interesting i actually built up my sam my sampo a little bit i was using him um i was using him on first half but it, it equaled the same amount of cycles so i just ended up or showing the Dr. Rachel Pela, run me. For sure on team. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to build more DOT for the future. I have Gonaifen, but I'm waiting for E1 Gonaifen from the 4 star selector. I think I'm gonna go with uh, E1 Gonaifen. As opposed to anyone else. I kinda hope I get a Gallagher because Gallagher's cool. Your seems cool. But I guess that just depends on if I'd pull on Akron's banner or not. Which I hadn't decided yet. Full commit. I don't know if anyone else goes down to 1 HP. Silver Wolf might. It, it, it got so close. Like, do it. Do it, Sam. Skill him. Do it. I don't remember what I do here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. No, yes. <laughs> and we're on the last cycle. And we do it. So, I'm gonna do it. There we go. I'm pretty sure if my spark was better speed tunes, um, I could probably shave off a cycle there. Yeah. Oh, we're going. Um, we're straight into builds. <laughs> I'm just recording a voiceover of just like the video. I, I so I'm not gonna pause. We'll just we'll, we'll react together to my builds. My Dr. Rich is pretty good actually. I have interchangeable crit rate and crit body pieces that are both pretty good, but I just have them on a crit uh, rate body. My payload is nothing special. I have resolution on her for uh, the extra defense, shred, and debuff. Um, my set, actually, this, this, oh, sorry, we're still my payload. Getting ahead of myself. I have her E4, so her E4 gives another debuff as well on her skill, which is kind of nice. It's ice resistance shred or something, which isn't you know useful, but it's just another debuff, which is which is cool. So here you can see my ratio is fucked up a little bit. I could get a way better ratio on her, but I decided to just go crit rate and then have a Sparkle deal with <laughs> deal with crit damage. I don't know. Uh, again, kind of scuffed, but if it works, it works. I also have her E6. Kind of lucky to have that. And here's my Sparkle. 150 speed, so she's not slow and she's not fast. She's just sparkle. But I actually did find a way to fix her speed in in tuner for King Choi. I had to break her set bonuses, but it's it's 
not that big of a deal. I think I broke the HP bonus. Not the speed, so. If it works, it works. I'm not even sure, like, set bonuses are super necessary anyways. Like, if you're trying to um, speed tune, I, I've seen a lot of people just go, like, rainbow pieces with whatever um, speed subs they have. That's interesting. I could, I could try to do that, too. Possibly. I have Trend on Japard. I'm not sure how much it, it's doing. I had it because I was trying with Dr. Ratio and I just didn't swap it off, but... It's an extra burn for the DOT. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot, but... Um... It's honestly fine. I had no particular reason to have that on anyway. Anyways, boys, thanks for tuning into this week's very scuffed edition of Memory of Chaos 12. Um, if you have any anything, any 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 tips, thoughts on this current Memory of Chaos, whatever, let me know down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Memory of Chaos 11 next, a lot easier. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.